Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and today I will be showing you how to install mods for Minecraft 1.8.9. Now, what I'm about to show you in this video does work on every other version of Minecraft in Java Edition, uh, but I would recommend using other stuff such as Fabric for those versions, as at the moment, Forge is pretty unoptimized for pretty much any version that isn't 1.8.9, but for 1.8.9, it's the go-to, and I would never really recommend anything else unless something absolutely crazy happens. Now, first things first, before you do anything, you need to get Java. You can do this either by going to java.com or just clicking on the link in the description that will say something like Java Download. And once you're here, you hit a green start free download, and you'll get a file that looks something like this, uh, depending obviously on your operating system, among other things. And once you do, you just want to double click it. You want to hit yes to allow it whatever access it needs. And then you want to hit install. You can obviously change the destination folder, but 99% of the time, this will cause some sort of problem. So don't really do that unless you really know what you're doing. Otherwise, you just hit install and it'll install everything in the background on its own uh, pretty fast. Now this is an old computer, so it's going to take me a while, but for anyone else, this will be done in a matter of seconds, maybe like a minute if you are uh, have a bit of an older computer. But uh, yeah, basically we need Java to actually run all the different mods on top of Minecraft because they all rely on Java to work because that's what Minecraft is based off. So yeah. Uh, once that's done, it'll pop up something like this. You've installed Java. And then from there, you want to go yet again the description, or you can go look up Forge, and you'll get to download Minecraft Forge 1.8.9. Uh, if you're not on Windows, you get the universal download. If you are, get the installer, which I think nowadays is actually the same thing. I don't know if it's a little bit different, but if it is, it is. Uh, but otherwise, anyway, if you're on Windows, just click the installer button right here, and you'll get a file that looks like this, uh, something like this. And you just want to double click it. And if you have Java installed, it'll pop up like this. Now, if I hit OK right now to install the client, nothing should happen because I actually don't believe I have 1.8.9 installed. Uh, maybe I actually do and I forgot, <laughs> but for anyone else, um, that's that's basically all you do to install Forge, and if that isn't working for you, which I think it no just does nowadays, but if it's not working for you, on the Minecraft launcher, hit Installations, then New Installation, and you want to change the version to version 1.8.9 and hit create, and once you hit play on it one time, that's when uh, this file will start working again, because once you hit play, it'll install version 1.8.9 for you, uh, but apparently it just worked, so now we should see Forge somewhere in here, maybe I have to reboot the client, oh uh, yeah, let me just, yeah, let me reboot the Minecraft launcher, and see if that fixes anything, um, and yeah, once you have Forge, everything else is really super simple from there. I just have to make sure it actually exists. There it is. Release 1.8.9 Forge. You can change the icon if you want to anything, like a cake. You can name it Forge. And I, there's no real need to change anything else. And once you have that, that should be your go-to, because that will be your 1.8.9 Forge installation. But before... Uh, before, actually no, we want to do this, hit play real quick, and this will make a mod folder uh, in our Minecraft.Minecraft .minecraft folder for us, so we can just put our mods into there and get everything up and running. Now while that happens, I'll go over the different mods there are. So first things first, we have Optifine, should be pretty well known, it's just a game optimizer, it makes the game run smoother. If you get nothing else, this is the one mod I think you should always have for 1.8.9. There's literally no downside to having it. You get a nice little zoom feature like that zooms in uh, in the game. And uh, it just makes your game run faster with, with no downsides. It's just a better version of Minecraft. Uh, the next one I have is Quick Report. Now this is for Hypixel specifically. Basically when you type dash QR and then someone's name, it'll automatically submit a report with all the necessary cheating things. Uh, be a bit cautious of this one though, because it's just from an individual guy on a Google Drive link, 
So he could change this in the future, for all I know. I don't know this guy at all, and I don't know if there's any real reason to trust him. So if this link changes or something, or, you know, just in case anything else happens, just make sure this is safe. Uh, then there's Auto GG, which is yet again high pixel specific, but basically after every game, it'll just say GG in chat for you. Uh, it's by Skier, super trustable guy. Then we have Auto Tip, which automatically does some stuff in the background to get you free high pixel experience. Yet again, it's a high pixel specific mod. Then we have Chroma Hood, which is the HUD I use. Uh, lets you do stuff like add FPS and your coordinates and stuff to your screen without having to press F3. And you can just add a lot of very nice looking things with it. Then we have Craft Presence. Uh, by the way, all this stuff will be in the description. Then we have Craft Presence, uh, which you want to get obviously the 1.9 version. Uh, which basically gives a lot of specific info about what game you're in in Minecraft on Discord. So it'll say you're like on high pixel bed wars or something, which is kind of nice. Uh, and we have orange simple mods, which is some more HUD stuff, uh, such as armor. But you can see we're lowered into forge. It'll say in the bottom left here, so that means we're good and we don't have to do anything else. Anyway, uh, orange has a status effect HUD, shows like status effects, like potion stuff. And the one I mainly use it for is armor status HUD, which shows your current like armor and durability. Then we have, what's this? Don't close your chat. So whenever you die or something, normally your text chat will close, which is kind of annoying. So this just stops the game from doing that. And if you're like mid typing a message as you fall into the void, you can still send it without anything in your way. Uh, I've been using this for a while, but do keep in mind, uh, this is actually, no, this is a high pixel admin and developer, so he's super trustworthy, so go for it with that. And so are these two, these are made by, like, professional teams and stuff, so they're very trustful mods. And, uh, the big one is Patcher. Now, this is the one, along with Optifine, that I'd recommend. Basically, patches a bunch of bugs that are known to exist in 1.8.9 that Mojang will never fix because they don't fix old versions of Minecraft. And uh, it also adds some very nice other stuff that you can do, like changing your FOV while sprinting and stuff, which is kind of useful. And the last one is the sidebar mod, which if you've ever looked on the side of your screen on like high pixel, you'll see like these red numbers like 1 through 10 on the side. Literally, all this does is get rid of those numbers. That's the whole point of the mod. But uh, it's nice. It just look, it makes the game look better. Anyway, like I was saying, now we should have a mods folder in Minecraft. Uh, so why don't I show you how to go to it? So for any other operating system, you want to look up how to get to your .minecraft folder. But if you're in Windows, I'll show you a quick way to do it. So first press the Windows button, and this will pop up with the Windows menu, which unfortunately for you guys will be a bit off screen here. Then you type in run, just the word run, and press enter, and it'll pop up with this program. And you want to type this exact command, percent app data percent, and hit OK. And then you'll just see your .minecraft folder right at the top here. You can open it up, go to mods, and you should be able to download all the .jar files for all those mods in the description for everything I just showed uh, for like the last two minutes. So this, I actually have them already downloaded in this folder. They all are .jar files. You just drag them into your, not into your downloads folder. I forgot they, I guess I, I gotta rerun the uh, app data thing. Sorry, this is done live. And let's reopen our .minecraft folder. Go into the mods folder and we want to dump these mods into the mods folder and just like that the next time I actually open Minecraft so when I do that for you next time we open Forge 1.8.9 it'll automatically run all the mods and their installers just right away so let's close this stuff out and yeah, uh, the patcher mod needs this essential thing to also install to work, so that will install right away. And then the game will launch, and it'll install any other things it needs for the mods to work. And then I'll do a quick rundown of how to do stuff with all these different mods. So you can see it's constructing the mods. You can see kind of some of the mods getting loaded up. It's downloading a few things and like loading stuff in. 
Yeah, then I'll then I'll give a quick rundown of some of the stuff that you can do with this and why it's nice. Uh, so this part, don't really care. So I'll just don't care about the friend system. The Essentials mod has some terms and conditions, which I don't want to accept yet, so I don't really care. It has some, like, friend and cosmetic stuff that it likes, um, because that's how they make their money with that mod. Because it it's a really expensive, the patch mod is really expensive, so if you ever feel like donating, donate to the patch mod or Optifine. They're kind of the big, crazy ones that took forever to make. But yeah, um, let's give it access. I haven't... I actually haven't ever played Minecraft on here, I don't think, so that's why I was confused why Forge installed. Anyway, let's go to hypixel.net to get mess with stuff. And yeah, uh, once we're in here, you'll see I haven't configured anything, so the chat is absolutely massive. So let's make the chat a bit smaller and lower the opacity a bit. Anyway, you'll see it even says on screen dash chroma how to get started. But first, we want to do slash sidebar mod uh, and disable the red numbers, and that's literally all you should ever do with that, and it just looks nicer in my opinion. Uh, then we have a couple other things. So first is Optifine. If you click the Options button uh, and just go to anything like the video settings, you'll notice you have like a ton more options all of a sudden. You even have stuff like shaders, which is a really cool thing that you can do with Optifine. Uh, you can change what animations are on and stuff, and just, just a lot of different things. Um, yeah, Optifine's really cool. Just the game's optimized, and it gives you more options to optimize whatever you want to do. I'm actually going to turn down the audio. It might not sound loud for you guys, but for me, this stuff is really loud. And I'm sure you've noticed right at the uh, crosshair in the middle of our screen, it says Chroma HUD, just get started. So let me just show off that one real quick. Type dash Chroma HUD, then new. You can add a new item, uh, and let's add like the FPS for example. Uh, once we're here, uh, we can actually click on FPS to remove it. And if we go back, we can change the color. So we have a chroma, which is like, you know, changing colors. We can have it as a single color, which is normally what I go for. Let's say something like this. Then we hit change position, and we can kind of change where this is. You can also, once you go back, and you can go to this thing, hit edit, and delete it so it's not on your screen. And you can see my FPS in the top left, which looks bad because I haven't configured simple HUD. So let me do that first. So first, simple HUD's main settings, it's just type dash simple HUD. You can move stuff around. Like I can move this down so the FPS looks nicer. And let's just put the armor here for now. Uh, then we type simple config, we can actually configure uh, like what's enabled and whatnot. I recommend making armor horizontal so you can look good with your taskbar. Um, I would turn off direction hood and I would turn down the scale of status effect hood. You can do this however you want. I do put 75 and then I disable toggle sprint because that just makes it you see where it says sprint enable on the bottom left uh, when I reboot Minecraft that won't be there but you can see this little potion effect is now moved down a bit so my screen looks a bit cleaner and uh, yeah those are some nice changes there and craft presence automatically works in the background so on discord right now it'll say that I'm on high pixel for anyone who cares to see that and the final mod uh, kind of thing that there is to configure from the list of mods I gave that doesn't just work automatically like auto GG, which actually I think you can change with just type in dash auto GG. Yeah, you can change like what message exactly it sends. So you do like capital GG or something, uh, the delay and all that. But generally, I just you can just leave it as stock and it'll just work fine. Um, but the last thing you can change is patcher, which is done with slash patcher, and there are a ton. Just a absolute ton of options for you to mess around with. There's so many, in fact, that you can use a search bar. So, for example, if I type in full screen, you can see there's windowed full screen, which I normally use, but I'm not going to use for the sake of this recording. And there's just a lot of very cool things. There's like a, I think there's like invisible chat. So, you can get transparent chat. If I turn that on, you can see chat is now transparent. You can also make this little input box transparent, but I personally don't like that. And yeah, 
Uh, that's really it. it. Also, the last thing is for Optifine, obviously, if you press C, it'll zoom in. And if you use your scroll wheel, you can zoom in or out more, uh, which is kind of cool. And yeah, uh, that really should be it. That's basically how to install mods. You just drag them in the folder. If you want to uninstall any of these, you just drag them out of the folder. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.